Welcome to third of mass quality blessing. Now, the only method to look at God and to be connected to God is through the third eye of wisdom. Now, the third eye of wisdom is the self that means the soul that we are, the point of light, the divine being beyond this physical body. We are not this physical body actually. We are just a point of divine light, a spark, a metaphysical energy running this physical body and we don't belong to this physical world. We are from the world above and I've come for a short period of time. That's why we call out for liberation or mukti. And that is the soul which is calling for liberation and mukti, not the body. Because the body is either going to be burnt away or is going to be put under a grave. So, who are we and how do we connect is what we're going to learn today. And how do we remember father? That means the creator. So, God here says, may you be a jewel on the forehead. And constantly keep your awareness of the father emerged in the center of your forehead. That means we have an eye other than these two eyes, the eye of imagination and that eye of imagination is known as the third eye. And the knowledge of God can only be contained in that third eye. That means the soul's eye of imagination is the third eye which contains the knowledge of God once it takes it. A jewel on the forehead means constantly having remembrance of the father in one's head. So when we are remembering the creator, the spark, the light, automatically this jewel starts shining. This is known as the highest stage. Always consider yourself to be an elevated soul who is stable in the highest stage and thereby continue to move forward. Always consider yourself to be an elevated soul who is stable in the highest stage that means connected to the creator and thereby continue to move forward in your life. Those who stay in the highest stage are easily able to overcome all the many types of situations down below. Down below means where? On this very earth. So when our stage is high, that means we are on a higher vibration of love, of peace, purity, happiness, joy, contentment, wisdom, bliss. Then any situation which comes in front of us, we are able to take care of it and we are able to overcome all of it. The problems stay down below and you stay up above. So the problems are below and we stay up above. The place for the jewel on the forehead is high on the forehead, isn't it? The soul sits over here. Soul doesn't sit in the heart or doesn't sit in your feet. The soul sits right over here. The place for the jewel of the forehead jewel of the forehead is high on the forehead and so do not come down and stay constantly up above do not come down means do not get entangled into worldly desires that means when we want love from the world we want peace from the world around we want happiness that is this chakra solar plexus chakra and the other chakra then we are looking for happiness all around that means we are coming downwards so instead of coming downwards god says Take it from me. Take the love from me. Take the happiness from me. Take the joy from me. Take the contentment from me. And don't ask it from this world at all. Because it's the end of days of this physical world. So do not come down. Stay constantly up above. As soon as we start looking for it down below in this physical world, physical realm, for making us peaceful, feeling loved, feeling content and happy, and feeling other pleasures of the five senses automatically our connection with God goes away and we get entangled into the worldly affairs. And that is what God says, don't do so. Always be having me in your vision of your imagination, that's your third eye. And that's the best method to be protected and to be safe. How do you get that vision of the creator in your third eye is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. It's the first step, the basic step and that's the most beautiful step through which you can attain lightness of your mind and your heart and you can actually awaken all your chakras and purify them and move forward towards mukti by being in this physical body itself to learn more about it do visit a brahma kumari center nearby you om shanti with this